Hi, I'm Davi, and here are my top reasons as to why to use Apple products for college. So a little introduction to me if you're new. My name is Davi. In the fall, I will be a third year computer science major with a minor in cognitive science. So here's news reason number one. Apple products have really, really good battery life. So I have an iPad Air 2019 and a MacBook Pro that I use as my daily drivers in my internship as well as for school. In my internship specifically, I use my MacBook Pro for all of my programming everything I do programming wise I do in there but they can drain the battery of machines but Apple's really good at their battery life therefore like I'm going to work from 10 to 6 eight hour days and my laptop doesn't die I don't even bring my charger to work because I don't need to my iPad I use for notes and I use for video consumption as well as for music and I can be streaming for hours and hours and my lap my iPad will not die so the battery life of both of these products are really, really good and still a valid reason as to why to pick these two things as your daily drivers for school. Reason number two is a bit more spe specified for computer science. Um, a lot of your programming is going to be used using Linux and Unix systems. Apple is really good at having the ability to have the terminal icon use Unix and all of that great stuff. So you don't have to download anything, any new software. To use all of my friends in school that have windows laptops have to download softwares like nova x term and stuff like that and editors to be able to use the systems and log on to the shells for school while i since i have an apple laptop um, don't have to do that so the convenience of being able to just have that integrated already into the system is really really nice then if you watch other data lives of software engineers and other things like that, almost all of them are using Apple products. So I think it's good to be starting getting used to that ecosystem right now, if that is your desire to go into the software engineering field. And then also, it's just more convenient that way that you learn early. And then also, a lot of my professors, almost all of my professors in computer science, use Apple products, use Apple laptops for programming examples in class, and it's easier to follow along because mine, what I'm looking at is exactly what they're looking at. But on my friend's laptops, he's using a different editor and a different software in general to do the same exact thing, and he can be a little bit confused and would have to go and ask help, or I'm just like literally looking at what the teacher is looking at. It's very, very dependable, and it's a good reason as to why to pick an Apple laptop if you're majoring in computer science. My college may not be the same as everyone else's, but I feel like for the most part, most people use Apple laptops and Apple products. So if you want to get ahead of the game and like be able to follow along more easily, I would suggest using a MacBook. Reason number three is the ecosystem. The ecosystem of Apple is incredibly convenient. I have an Apple Watch, an iPhone, iPad, and MacBook, and the ability to go from one device to the other seamlessly is unmatched, and I just feel like that the ability to do that is just so convenient that everyone should be able to take advantage of that. I believe that if you have an iPhone, it's even better and more useful to be able to go ahead and get that MacBook or MacBook Pro, because everything on your iPhone, you can just seamlessly go into your laptop. One of my favorite things is the handoff ability, where if I'm looking up something on my iPad, I can easily, and I want to be able to have a bigger screen, I can easily just go open Safari and quickly have that ability to go and send that. Or if I'm writing notes to, on my iPad, I want to email them to my friend or airdrop them to my friend who has a MacBook Pro, I'm easily able to do that. Or if my friend sends me a picture, like pictures of notes or something from class that I've missed, because all of my products have iMessage, I can easily just open that message on my laptop while my friends have to email those pictures to themselves. So it's just incredibly more time efficient and convenient to the ecosystem that Apple has created. The ability to go from one thing to the other is just so, so good. One of my favorite apps that I have on all of my devices and is already there is an app called Files. So on my phone, Files is essentially I'm looking at what files are directly on my laptop from my phone. I can look at it from my phone or I can look at it from my iPad. So when I'm taking notes in class from my iPad, 
when I'm done for that day and I'm finishing taking those notes, I can save that, save it to the file of the iCloud. And now that file is in that folder that is on my laptop. Therefore, when I'm studying, I can open that file of notes from my iPad, from my laptop and my phone seamlessly without having to email anything or send off anything. The ability to have that convenience is just unmatched and I just truly believe that if you have an iPhone or just one of those products, it's better just to go all in and to be able to have all of these things to use them to the most of your ability. So some tips on which Apple products to buy, it's all about personal preference. I only bought an iPad to take notes recently because I just got this internship and I was just it was just convenient for me to do that, but not everyone needs to have an iPad to be able to do that. Notebook and paper are still very, very good. So if you're trying to pick up which laptop to pick for college, I would suggest if you are rewriting papers or you're looking at reading textbooks and stuff like that, like simple consumption, I would recommend the MacBook Air or the MacBook. If you are a computer science major or in an engineering or related field like that, I would suggest the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro is more for harder consumption like programming and stuff like that so that the system is able to handle those calculations and stuff like that. That is just from my personal experience. I have the MacBook Pro and when I was looking up which laptop to buy, which one to do all of that and all those resources that I was looking up, I have found that the MacBook Pro was the best option for me, but it might not be that for the same for everyone. So if you found this video useful in any type of way, please let me know. Just comment down below. I would just love to hear some of your thoughts. Um, if you're new and you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Um, I make weekly videos of computer science related, my internship related, vlogs, stuff like that. I plan on uploading weekly. And overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.